Hello and welcome to Microbiz Matters Day from Small Business Saturday HQ. Today, as part of our hashtag I Gave Eight, we are going to be running through some really useful social media tips for microbiz, uh, focusing on one of the thoughts of the day, which is hashtag customers. So we've got five tips that we'll run through, which are really easy to start. And the first one of those is using hashtag hours. So each week there are specific hashtag hours for uh, regions and industries. So for example, each weekday between 2 and 3 p.m. there's something called hashtag biz hour. They have 61,000 followers and it's a really busy hour on Twitter. So getting involved there and seeing what people are talking about um, is a way to find more customers, more people in your industry, see what they're up to. Um, that's great ways to meet other micro businesses and it's just an hour a week that you can get involved in uh, and it's a whole community that you can reach out to. Um, there are things like Southwest Hour, Brahm Hour, Wedding Hour and Handmade Hour. So whatever it is you're doing in your micro biz, there's definitely one for you. So just go onto Twitter and in the search bar, have a look for a hashtag hour that might be relevant for you. So the second top tip for social media is same with the hashtag and we're sticking with Twitter, is searching with a ha hashtag to find customers and work for your small business. So it's called social media for a reason. It's a reason to be social and engage with people. So for example, if you're a micro biz and you're based in Manchester, you might search using the hashtag Manchester and whatever your micro biz is. So if you're a small team of chefs that are doing catering, you might search with hashtag Manchester, hashtag chef, and you can see people looking for what your micro biz is offering. So it's a way to find customers, you could perhaps see another micro biz that wants to collaborate. There might be a small wedding micro biz and they need a caterer for the for the occasion. So it's a great another way to find customers and to find people you can collaborate with. So the next tip we're going to look at is help yourself. So social media is fun and it's easier to use, but it can feel sometimes a bit intimidating or you might not feel that you have enough hours in the day to really give it your full attention. So help yourself. You'll use scheduling tools and search tools um, and don't be afraid to build social media into your life. So when you're on the commute or if it's first thing in the morning or last thing at night, whatever works best for you. There's loads of free services, so things such as TweetDeck or another one called Hootsuite where you can set up searches that look for the hashtags you've chosen from uh, tip number two. So you can go in every day and look at your hashtags such as Manchester or Chef or social media. Um, and it's a lot easier than searching through all the tweets in your timeline every day. So you can have a quick look, spend 10 minutes when you're on the commute looking through those that you've already searched for. Um, and maybe on a Sunday evening when you've got a bit of time, you might schedule all your tweets for that week. So you don't have to be in on it every day and it can just be as easy as you need it to be. The next tip we're going to look for is content. So by sharing content that's interesting and on a regular basis, so for example, if somebody's left some really good feedback on your website or you've had a really happy customer and you've taken a photo of them, you can share that with your audiences. Um, films and photos can tell a story that sometimes text alone cannot. So Facebook photos normally get a lot more engagement than just a text post. So you can think about the kind of thing that you might take a photo of, whether it's a product or a poster of an upcoming fair or something that you're going to attend. Um, blog posts as content are a great way to keep your website really dynamic and it's just a great thing that you can share on all these social media channels that you have um, and it gives people a reason to keep coming back to your feeds or your website. Um, blogs can tell stories and share news that you might not have space to tell on your main website um, and it's just a great way to tell people about all the work that you're doing. And then the last tip we're going to look at, number five, is tie into trends. So every day on Twitter, there will be things that trend. Now it's something that's functioning on Facebook as well. So there's loads of ways to get involved in these conversations. And the reason why you'd want to do this is because by including a trending hashtag in a tweet, more people will see that tweet because it's involved in this conversation. So some are spontaneous. There was the, the one yesterday, which was the puddle watch. So that just happened and that people engage with that as it was happening. And obviously some trends you can plan for. So it'll be the Olympics this year in Rio. Uh, 
Wimbledon tennis in the summer. So you can spend a little bit of time thinking about how you can work and tie into that trend with your business. Obviously, not all of them are going to be relevant, but it's fun to think of content that might work with these kind of things. Um, And it's also a really great way to give a shout out or a recommendation to another micro business who might be doing something that's relevant. So if it's not directly relevant to you, you can give a shout out to another business that is relevant to make a friend collaborate. And if they retweet you, then all their customers will see you as well. So those are our top tips for Micro Biz Matters Day. Of course, this is just a really brief overview. Um, There's loads of tips and advice on the Small Business Saturday blog um, that you can go and have a look. And if you have any questions, then just ask us. And our Twitter handle is at smallbizsatuk. So happy Microbiz Matters Day, everybody.